Well, after stripping down Tornado again, I took out the, this was the Batman decoder, the, sorry, Gage Master one. I thought it would be better because, as you see, there's no, no wires or anything, it's just a straight plug-in. But, one advice from other people, I've taken it out and I've been and bought uh, the uh, Batman decoder, the uh, 36 five five three fitted it in there just put a bit of tape on tape it down there i've given those wheels another good clean uh, and i've also put a drop of oil all the moving parts so i'm just going to put it back on the track now and test it but uh, we'll see how we go here we go running around seems a bit smaller i don't know whether you can hear that there's a slight noise just going to bring it back in reverse. No, it's not making the noise now. If you can just listen. It's going smoother anyway. I'll come back again and just listen to it. It's like a, I don't know, something not just right. I've oil everywhere. It just don't do it in reverse though. Anybody come up with any suggestions please? I say I've, I've run it round three or four times again now so all the while should have worked it all the bits that I've done. Yeah I'd be grateful anybody can suggest something on that please. There you go, I'm running it uh, relatively, I think it's on two notches there. <clears throat> Seems to be running quite smoother, a lot smoother. I'll put the body back on and see how we go. There's something just giving a little squeak there and I can't fathom out what it is. I've oiled all the wheels, done the motor. I don't know if anybody can pick that up. Here we go, the body back on. Seems to be running fine now. I put a bit more oil on those uh, front axles. I think it must have been a little squeaky. The only thing is now I've, I've lost the pin for connecting it to the tender <laughs> to find it. As I was saying, <clears throat> what I'd forgotten to do was of course put this, uh, this metal, it's like a connecting plate into it. So oh, I've put it in now, put the screws back in, oh, it should be hopefully okay. One other thing I don't know for sure is these, uh, like a floating axle, uh, could be a good thing, could be a bad thing, but once you've got it on the track it seems to be alright. Just tighten these up and we'll put it back on the track. Well, it seems to have cured the problem. It's very nice and smoothly now. Steady and not, uh, not hesitating at all. Model of the story. Goodbye, Batman. Fitty Batman. Decoder. Just bring her in now through the station at a crawl. You can see that uh, responded very well. That's on two notches. Nice and steady, very good. A lot better than uh, when I did it yesterday when I first put the, the decoder in. I'm not squeaking though, it must have just been one of them axles. Uh, I think it were on the front axle actually. Very good. I'll take back what I said now. Melt uh, tornado.
just testing it now on that incline. As you can see, it's only on half throttle, no problem at all. So you took the five cages on. I'm going to take six, seven, no problem. I'm Terry at uh, I'm Terry Blue Marine 77. I'm asking about those small transformers. This is one of them. So, uh, as you can see, you've got settings there where you can see it's a 12 volt transformer. You can do it at three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, nine, and 12 volts. You just turn it to what setting you want. You just plug in, you've got the lead there. I more or less run. Well, on this, I'm running it on six volt. I'm running my signal lights, but uh, I, I use them as well for me. My street lights. I, can, I, I put a dozen, maybe more on. Depends if they're LEDs. You could put a lot more on. It's a good little uh, thing. I think I paid about ten, eleven pound for this uh, two or three years ago. Uh, you can still get them, but there is there's a few on the market. I I found some cheaper ones uh, and about eight pound from local uh, store uh, Yorkshire Trading, I shouldn't advertise for them, they might not have them now, but uh, it, they, they were called Connect It, uh, and a little transformers for our job. Cheers then.